on. They played at Show Me Your Moves before that. I'm pretty sure KGH won that one. And I think they played at another Rubicon between those two. And I'm pretty sure set count is in KGH's favor. These might be totally incorrect facts. I know that they've played those three times, but I can't quite remember. Yeah, oh my god, that was such a weird intro with three <laughs> reflected lasers and no punish. <laughs> It's actually really bad to reflect lasers in the Fox demo because you're just locked down for right. so long. So, um... There we go. Bang. Interesting that they did strike the FD too. Yeah. I have no idea. I know Kells likes his as an FD Lindy, you know, KJH, he did take Silent Wolf here twice on his counter pick. Oh, okay. Here we go. That's so, all I need to know. Yeah. And some looks like oh, oh no wow that's a sick DI in that back here. Kels is gonna make it back. Oh, oh just yeah. do it. <laughs> They're like, both smiling on. about that one too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, dude, he just doesn't go for the up smash off up front. All right, gets the back in the edge guard. Three yeah. slash piece. Shine battle. Yeah. KJH pushing Kells into the corner. Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job just sitting at that roll range. Right. I feel like you just kind of let him out there. Just sort of sit there. Kells double jump over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Yep. Up to re-grab. What's the percentage that you want to start up tilting on that over here? Still? Pretty much around 50 if they don't DI. You have to up tilt. Yeah, otherwise they, they can, can start jump shining out. Shine out. Or, or, yeah. or, or even jumping out. Now, if they keep the eyeing, you can just keep chain grabbing. Yeah. Pretty much all the way to the up smash finish. <laughs> so, they're going to have to stop the eyeing or go for a slight DI. Yeah, slight DI is probably the key one. Right. And then goose away. It gets a little, little bit tricky then. You know, you got to mix in, like, you could you could walk up till you could uh, throw in some aerials. Aerial tech chases. A very oh common Oh my god. KJH, a little too aggressive off stage. Yeah, that's going to cost him big time. Yeah. We were, we were, you were talking about that in the uh, Kells vs. Silent set yeah. too. It's like, you get a little too aggressive off stage, mm -hmm. get turned around on you, it's all it takes. Oh, double jumps into shine. Mm -hmm. it though. There we go. Dash tag off smash. Wow. Very common, yeah, very, very common setup in the Fox though. Alright, um, Kells is playing, you know, his traditional, like, sort of, I feel like he's just, like, a very run and gun, you know, keeps it simple, knows how to use the gun, knows how to stay safe, get out of there, get in, get out. He's getting so much mileage out of, like, laser and then run up wave dash back or wave dash, wave dash in place. Yeah. And Kalindi's like, oh, I gotta do something. Right, Kalindi, you know, it's very easy to start tilting and playing, playing, not even tilting in the, but just, just getting a little desperate. Yeah. You feel like, I, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit. Right. Okay. All right, that, that, that's all very good. I like the, oh, okay. Oh. I like that he was going for a grab off that though. Yeah. It's probably the easiest way to react. He just wasn't quite able to get it. Yep. Nice tech spike, Kells. Yeah, I like what he's going for. Ooh. Oh, he just power shield up Power tilt. shield up oh. tilt. Yeah, I've seen him do that to Falcos. When the, with the uppies? Yeah, that's I know nuts. that's a that's an intentional thing he does. So. Yeah. Kells was able to DI out of it, though. And, uh, yeah, it looked like, honestly, that time he, he could have, he, there were better options. Right. But, Definitely. Um, he definitely looked cool as hell when he was there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. important, too. You gotta look cool up there. You do. If you're playing Spacey, especially. Yeah. But, you know, Kels, he's just all about that W right now. He's trying to get his paper. And... Okay. Nice stuff to Kels. Keeps a simple double up smash. He doesn't quite get the up air, but... That up tilt. Yeah, he's got KJH without a jump right now. Thunder's combo. Tricks him up that slight DI. KJ kind of thought, I think, that he was going to go on the platform and kill yeah. yeah, they're both living off of that. Kels is starting to mix in the ground and double shine. Seems like he might be playing a little bit hotter than he was earlier. And he reverses, which ends up with uh, some bad KJ HDI. And Kels does take the first stock. Yeah. Kels done a great job with the defensibility, so he's really not gotten. Or dealing with the other person's invincibility, I should say. Yeah. Oh my god, that pressure. 
Nice tag. Mm. Yeah. That's how it usually goes, you know, Fox is <laughs> falling below stage. Right. I mean, you think if Kels went straight up, oh, you think if Kels went straight up that he could have maybe avoided it. Perhaps. Maybe. But, uh... Jeez, man, there's ways to cover everything, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Even if he doesn't get the shine, he double jumps. He's going to, like, back area or something. Right. KJH is one of the aggressive now. Kels absolutely cannot get any control. He's yeah. been either, like, teching away, running away. So it's looking. Ooh, oh, get up get attack. attack. That is actually game. that's actually a ballsy play right there because if <laughs> if they just stand there, uh, you're you're that's doomed. That's the freest punish if they just stand there. Yep. Easy, easy up smash. You're just flailing your limbs all over the place and they just up smash you. Yep. Wow. Okay, yeah. KJH and Kells two stocks apiece. This is big for KJH. If he goes down 2-0 in the set, I don't know. That's that's big, man. It gives Kells a lot to work with in terms of the counter picks. He could he could still bust out the Falco if he feels like he needs to. That's true. Yeah, the Falco's in the back pocket as well. Yeah, you, KJH you, you don't want to you don't, you don't want to give your opponent you know that that type of leeway. So he's gonna have to find something. But I don't know. Kells is getting more grabs than he is, and that's there's one there's a shield grab. Yeah, nice little pivot up smash. Great TI from Kells on it though. Yeah. Okay. I, actually, that that makes a lot of sense. He tried to cover the side, the, the high upbeat, but the cool thing was he he was able to grab the ledge, so he wasn't too screwed, even though he missed. Right, he didn't put himself down in the, the drop zone if he, uh, if he whiffed it. That was smart. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little wave dash back from Kells. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. what? Oh, is that? Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh wow! My God. The sloppiest. Yeah, very, very <laughs> awkward stuff. Burn her off stage, bump her head. Kel's Kel's not even really edge hogging it correctly. Right? Yeah, he just kind of like let KGH just <laughs> Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you know, that that's how it goes sometimes, man. We saw some slop in the style of Kel's set too, and usually in the situations like that, it's just who can pick it up first, who can yep. pick up the pieces. Exactly. Oh wow, that was a very uh, ooh, very just. YOLO side beat in the middle of the stage. Oh, six smash on the up air. Yep. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to shine him off right now. Edge cancels the tumble. Oh, Kells! Oh, oh wow, my that's God. gonna be it! What a punish! I think that was DI away on that back from yeah, KJH. It looked like it. That turned the whole thing around. He was only at 80 and he went pretty damn far. Wow. Kels brings it back. And what? Oh, I thought KJH Ooh. was about to go Falco. Yeah, he's thinking <laughs> about the it. tables on him. <laughs> that was KJH's old main. Kels just looked at me and said, this, this guy. <laughs> Ready? Go. Yeah, Fox I... said it continues. Uh-huh. I, I think that'd be awesome if we saw Kalini just go back to Falco. He still plays him sometimes. I feel like every time I sit down in a friendly setup with KJH, he just picks Falco against me. Yep. Oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, trading bushy tail swipes. Yeah. Kel's uh, trying to pick up some of that KJH technology, but when he's yep. like, yeah, actually, that's my, don't even bother. Yeah, don't even, don't, don't try to come at me like that. This is my tail. <laughs> up throw, up smash, that's, that's the Kel's combo, man. <laughs> up, I feel like up, throw, up throw, up smash, that's the, that's the Kelsiest combo I can think of. <laughs> that's the pepperoni pizza of Fox combos. You're not trying to think too hard, you're just trying to keep it simple, get some yep. bang for your buck. Yeah, let me, give me that quick 30. Yeah. Just one 30. You know, maybe I get a tech chase, maybe I don't. Oh, oh no! Uh, oh no! All right. Oh no! Worst optimal recovery. That was Worst yeah. Time. Very flubbelicious. <laughs> ledge, yep. Kells was in no position to, to cover the ledge at all, so why go for anything else? Yep. But that up smash will, uh, you know, punish the side B land landing lag. Yeah, watch Kells like how much space he gives KJH when, when he grabs the ledge too. Like he's just standing in the center of stage. Not even close. Just want to deal with that ledge dash. Okay. Oh, he had the weight, but he didn't quite space it. Forward air. Nice. Just go straight out with it. Yup. We're definitely seeing uh, KJH prey upon kills at the ledge of this game. Mm -hmm. That's what it takes sometimes. KJH has a very crispy shine out of shield. Yeah, that was so quick. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little trick. Oh, oh that's my, again! Yeah, that's three stocks like that. Yeah, Low that that percentage. was just, I, I, like, I call that one of those games. That was sometimes you get, like, messed up, like a three stock. Yeah. 
and you just got outplayed hard, and you're just sitting there like, man, what did I do wrong? And right. sometimes you just have one of those games. Where you took 120%, and 100 of it was on one of your stocks. Yeah, stops, right? it's just like, that's not worth thinking about. Like, yeah. I, Move on. Pick if you got stage. shine spiked at 11% twice, it's like, whatever. <laughs> just do one of these where you just kind of bob your head back. Yep, yep. I guess. I guess, man. All right, uh, Kels, like you said, he seems like he's very comfortable in Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. And you know, with his Dash Dance game, it could work out. One thing I've noticed about KJH in particular that uh, that I find makes him a little peculiar is he actually, if you like watch how he usually plays in the Fox Ditto, he is very, very stationary. Like he will throw a lot of aerials in, in place. place. Yeah, and he'll do a lot of retreating aerials, mm -hmm. a lot of like a lot less dash dance than other foxes. Uh, of his cali caliber, I would say. Like, less dash dance grab heavy, more just trying to catch you with uh, stuff your moves with, with, with moves of his own. Yeah, oh, I can totally see that. Especially with the way that he uses down tilt, like, yeah. very defensively. We have dash back or crouch dancing with it. Somehow Kells came out on top of that one. And I'm surprised that shine spike didn't hit. Yeah, that was some kind of sick angle from KJH. Nice instant shield that was fast. <laughs> Full hot nair just barely clips him. Ooh. He wanted the shine turn around back air. He really wanted it. Which is actually a really good way to cover that. Leffen and Armada have been uh, really working that into their edgeguard game, I think, over the past maybe year, year and a half. Right. I feel like they set up for either they're getting that, that late shine spike on the up E or they're getting this shine turn around back air. Exactly, yeah. You can just dip below their up E and uh, you don't have the time. Nothing with the, the back air, because back air is such a good hitbox there. Yeah, you know. it's huge. Yep. Those metal boots go far. Yep. Kells. Nice edge go. KJH. Yep, good back air. Is he going to tie this set up 2 2? I mean, we saw last time Kells with a 3 2 run back. Let's see if Lindy tries to get that revenge on him. Yeah, that reverse reverse. God, I really wish that last set had been recorded, too. Uh, was it recorded? Yeah, they played off stream, huh? Yeah, I mean, we were. <laughs> the venue was like about to close. We were pressed for time. Right. It was a loser's record match. Grab. Yeah. Go back here. Nice. Okay. Probably unintentional on the get up attack. Okay. Kel's keeping it simple. He's trying to. Try, looks like he's almost trying to just cheese him out right now. Oh. That. Well, oh my god, he gets it again with it. Ooh, that's what he was looking for last time. This time he gets it. Yep, even with the trade, he's going to take it. He's fine. Yeah. Kels almost with a nice up air right, really. <laughs> Who can shine there better? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, nice wave. He did a little dash forward, too, to make it look like he was going to go for a grab. Oh, oh that's going to be ooh. it. KJH. The Armada shine. Yep. Complete with the head dip. <laughs> That's a Armada classic. That's how you know it's authentic. 2-2. Mm -hmm. two, two. Yeah, sometimes you're just feeling it and you're trying to get that punish. You just got to add the extra little bit of... Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, Kels is sticking out with Fox right now. He's not trying to cop out of Falco. He took those first two games, you know. He gets the confidence from that. Even though he's lost the last two, it's been some shine spikes. So right. He feels like he's still in there. He's like, I just got to play better on the ledge, you know. Yeah, it's it's a, it's one thing to switch to Falco when you're down 2-0 and you, you've been getting your ass beat by your main or as your main. But, uh, you know, he knows he can do it with Fox, and sometimes you're on Game 5, you don't want to mess up a good thing. Yeah, definitely not. You're like, what, what if I'm just not playing hot with Falco right now? I don't know. Right. I haven't been playing Falco. And he's had uh, plenty of sets in the past where he's gone Fox, lost, and switched to Falco, and then just lost again. Right. Like, so he's got that in the back of his mind, like, right. oh, man, he's so good at those little F-tilts. Yeah. Followed by the, uh, the Shine Spike every time. Yeah. Famously, uh, at Apex 2015, Kel's losing to Thorn. Uh -huh. After playing Fox, switching to Falco, and SDing twice. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that always hurts. Yeah, that's not good. That just means you're, you're, you're burdened off day. Yep. Falco Master not in session. Yep. Uh oh, getting shined by the ledge. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's exactly what Kalindi is looking for. Any kind of situation like that where you can just set up an edge guard. Because he's the one who's been edge guarding efficiently. Like, Kel's edge guards are just not. Yeah, it really, it really does seem like like KJH is hitting all of those, you know, four tilt shine spikes, all that good stuff. Kels, he's had a really good dash game. Uh, he's been getting some good grabs on stage and, 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 and you know just getting solid, you know, 50, 60 percent combos with the up throw up smash. But I, yeah, I was gonna say I feel like the up throw up smash 
Or just the tech chase off smash has been Kel's bread and butter as far as like closing stocks out. Yep. Not so much the edge guarding. And I mean, even if you see on the edge guard, he does. He just goes for like lazy, like turn around up tilt, like a lot. Right, right, right. Just like <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't want to put like, myself just at any risk. Please just come at me because I don't want to think about it. Yeah. Ooh, that double jump was real risky. That's way. Uh, you know, the funny thing was, I actually commentated a set a long time ago, maybe a year or two ago. It's super sweet between uh, Kel right here and Rainex from Toronto. And it was kind of the opposite dynamic where Kells was getting a lot of really good edge guards and Rainex was doing the lazy up tilts. And I called him out on it. I said, you know, you're going to have to put a little bit more thought into that because Kells is really mowing you down with some good edge guards right now. Yeah. Looks like this just, you know, might not be. Might not be Kels' moment in terms of the edge guarding capability, so he's just gonna have to outplay him on the stage. Yep. But right now, Kalindi is the one who's just he's doing that super like stationary defensive stuff, and Kels yeah. is really struggling to get in on him. Yeah, it's almost like just chic s just throwing out the wall of like you know normals, a lot normals. of normals. Yeah. Okay. He just goes for it. There we go. Finally gets the shine stall back here. Yep. Kels just wants one knockdown, one grab. Yeah. There we oh, go. There's one, there's the knockdown. Oh, oh and he crotch cancels too, but doesn't punish Yeah, him. he like shielded by accident. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh oh. Oh my uh -oh. god. Wow. He waited so long. Oh my god. The DI was just not there on that back air. Yeah, he Kels totally called that roll too. I know. He, well, he called the. He waited for get him place. Called the roll. Yep. And then he. And then he called the shine. Yeah. And he still finally gets to grab it. Right. It took a lot. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no tech on this. Yeah. yeah, I thought for sure he's going to get the tree tech. Yeah, up throw smash was actually really smart there because it prevented him from, well, I don't know, maybe KJ's yeah, could He might have been able to DI into it. It was close. Right. Oh, no. that's going to do it. Okay, last stock. Game five. Who is going to get the fox? <laughs> Who's going to be the fox who gets to uh, challenge Silent Wolf in the ditto? Yeah. Yeah, twist it up a little bit there. Yeah, who's going to get Silent Wolf's fox if that's, there you go. Know, that's one way to... Nice. Yep, that's a nice tech. Of it. Oh, he's just chasing him with the up tilts. AJH, not even going to bother edge guarding. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Calls that roll in again. Oh, my God, Kels. Oh, Kels so patient. Is that an up smash? No. Not quite. Oh, wow. and he gets the roll. Oh, my God. And KJH does it. That was so close.